guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Sigurd Christine. I'm back at it again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I install this V part kinky curly wig that I got from Amazon. It is in 22 inches in a very natural 1B color. And I'm going to show you guys how I do the crochet method to install this hair to kind of like blend it because this texture did not match my hair. So we're gonna do the crochet method. So if you are interested, definitely keep on watching. All right guys, so the hair that I got is from Amazon. It is from the brand Aticule. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, she came in this really nice purple box. Can we talk about packaging, okay? It is 100% human hair, Brazilian hair, and it is a 10A hair. That's what they say it is. And on the back, it just shows you the care instruction on the box. But we love a nice, sturdy box, okay? In the packaging, I got this wig, of course, with a black net. And it came into this little Ziploc bag. And it had the inches on it. I got this hair in 22 inches. And it did come with a branded band to tie your edges down or your lace and it did come with a edge brush which is really nice and two wig caps so we didn't really need all these because it's not like we're laying down lace but it's always good to have nice free gifts it also did come with a tag on the hair before i pulled it which was really nice so the packaging the branding everything was on point loved it and i did get this hair for probably about 70 under or about 80 bucks i'm gonna say 80 bucks but i'll leave the specific price in the description box below just so y'all know so i'm using a old beret down that i did for another style it wasn't the best for this unit but we use what we got around here okay so this unit came with five snap wig clips one in the middle and two at each sides and it did come with an adjustable band as well as adjustable straps at the back and three wig clips two on the sides and one at the back bottom of the hair so this hair is kinky curly but the texture is more on the silkier side than on the coarse side so how I attach the hair is I apply it from the back bottom coming forward and then I attach the wig clips aligning them to my hair and make sure I have enough space that I will need at the top. For this specific install I did put the wig a little bit too forward but that's totally fine so this is the part y'all want to see so i take my crochet needle and how you do this part is you pretty much take a little piece of hair from the top part the top track that's showing and you stick the crochet needle through your braid and you pull the hair through so it can flip over the braid and you pretty much do this over and over again until the track is covered you can use your comb to rough up the roots a bit to make it look more natural this is not a perfect method it's just supposed to be very easy i will say it was pretty hard for me to kind of get used to because i couldn't see parts of my head fully and for some reason i always get one side like smoother better than the other for some reason i don't know but pretty much this style is convenient super fast but it's not like the best so if you're looking for the best this is probably not it but if you're looking for something super convenient that will be like pretty easy to do for the most part then this method is definitely the method for you but i pretty much just did one side and then off camera i did the other side because i honestly just needed to focus but this is pretty much how it turned out the side that i started on was way better super flatter and the other side not as great but it still looked pretty good if i do say so myself but yeah i'm talking too much so Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!
So I pulled out my little braid down that I have on the side with my little leave out. Whenever I have my hair brushed out, it blends way better with this unit. But if it is wet, it does not blend. After it dries, you can definitely tell there's like a difference in texture. But once I have it brushed out like this, you can definitely wear your natural hair out a little bit more. I have four type 4 hair, so it's very hard to blend with silkier textures. But whenever I do brush it out like this, it does blend better. And if I do wet it to get that like, you know, wet wavy look, all I need to do really is just to tuck my hair in the cap and kind of like just sleek it down. So I'm going to do that for you guys real quick to show you guys how it looks um wet just so you guys can see what i'm talking about i did put my cap on a little too forward so you can kind of see the front parts right here but we're just gonna cover that up by just making sure the hair just kind of lays forward a little bit the first time i installed it i did kind of cut it a little bit i'll insert clips so you can see um but other than that nothing too crazy just a little bit of snipping because i didn't want it to lose the length i did get it in 22 inches so you know that's what we're working with but i'm pretty much just gonna go in with some water and i did have a little bit of this sea moss um sea silk sea slip mineral infused curl slime by curls this is what she looks like um so i'm just gonna go in with it again where needed i don't think i'll need a lot to be honest once i start wetting the hair i wore this hair on my birthday trip on a cruise and honestly all i used was just water and my brush it was a very low maintenance as long as you had water i was thinking about bringing like mousse and stuff but once i initially put the mousse in there and i just wet it it was totally fine Granted, when I did go into the water and like swim and everything, it did wash the product out because I had to wash my hair. But I would say if you're going, I did go on like a weekend trip, so it was like four days. So it wasn't that big of a deal. But if you are going longer, maybe you might want to pack some extra product. But if you are going to be gone for like a couple days, I don't think you really need it. That's all I did, just wet it with some water and just twisted it up and put my bonnet on. And that's pretty much how I styled it the entire trip. This is the beauty of curly hair like this. All you really need is a bottle of water or just water. Like when you shower, just kind of like dip it and then brush it. Wetting it, I can already feel the slime on it so i don't think i'm gonna put any extra product in there because i don't want it to be like too much i do like this hair but i will say it does shed quite a bit um it is curly hair it will shed yes it's not super annoying but it can get annoying depending on how many times you actually manipulate the hair and style it so this is pretty much the final look. It's just going to dry down and it's going to look nice. This is what we're working with. The hair is super soft. It is easy to manage. I love that I can wear it curly in its natural form, giving me that wet look. And then I also love that I can also wear it brushed out to give me that, you know, nice little voluminous look 
we love that the only part is that i wish it did match my texture a little bit more but nonetheless it does work still looks good the chrome shea method is a super convenient method but it's not my favorite honestly i always get one side better than the other and then i have to like get help with doing the back part to making sure everything looks good so personally for me it's not my favorite but it's convenient and it will hold your girl down if need be you feel me but yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you are interested in this hair i'll leave it down in the description box below there you can also find all the other info i'll see you in my next one guys bye <laughs>